my guest is is Tim Page. And Tim, it, it would appear that you are located in Comic Book Central. <laughs> yeah, I this is my this is my inspiration. This is how I get my work done in the day. That is so I, cool. I've got comics everywhere. It's uh it's kind of my obsession. My voiceover f- is the uh, support group for my comic book addiction. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Now, and you're a West Coast guy, right? I'm East Coast. I'm actually in Syracuse, New York. You're in Syracuse. For some reason, yeah. I was thinking Sacramento. I got the first letter right. Yeah, yeah. That's There's right. the rest of it that I, that I messed up. <laughs> much well, uh, much colder here than Sacramento. I would I would imagine. I would yeah. imagine. So, yeah. Tim, I, I don't want to assume anything. I mean, I know enough about you probably to be dangerous at this point. <laughs> Me, not you. Um, <laughs> but I was recently introduced to you, um, actually through a mutual acquaintance, mm-hmm. and... Um, Man, I mean, your work is outstanding. You're so good, and obviously, you you really carved out a niche for yourself. But can you tell us a little bit about the path to where where you are now, and then maybe expand a little bit on the kind of work that you're doing? Sure. Yeah. Well, I uh, I actually uh, stumbled into voiceover. I was actually a professional musician for six, seven oh, years, no something like that. What yeah. Do you play? Or do? I play guitar and I sing. Excellent. Yeah, and that was kind of my thing for a long time. Ever since I was a little kid, I wanted to be a musician. Uh, but at, at some point in my late 20s ish, uh, I got to a point where I was kind of like, I'm too tired for this all the time <laughs> to be living in a van, not down by the river, but at least on the highway yeah. uh, and jumping around stage. And uh, so I got lazy. And so we um, when that ended, you know, I started a bunch of businesses. And one of the things that I had uh, done was I started a podcast. Um, and it was just this podcast about trying to figure out what you wanted to do with your life and uh, kind of generic, boring thing. But I created an intro for my podcast, and it was um, it was a, a really bad Don LaFontaine, just really <laughs> bad. Uh, but it, it, with all the effects and stuff that I put in with it, I had a bunch of other people who had podcasts reach out to me and say, hey, could you make an intro for me? And I was like, I guess. I just did it as a funny, you know, it was this goofy <laughs> thing. And so, you know, five or ten people later, I had created all these intros, and I was like, you know, I should do this for money. Um, and I started charging people, and more and more people came to me. I ended up doing a couple of really high-profile podcasts who forced me to charge them more. Wow. And it was, it was great. Those are the kind of clients I want. Oh, no. I mean, I was like, you know, I'll do it for, I don't know, 50 bucks or something. And uh, they were like, no, you're going to quadruple that. And I was like, okay. <laughs> um, at the time, I was like, this is the craziest thing. And uh, so I ended up, uh, since that time, I've done 650 or 60 podcast intros. Oh, wow. Uh, really just got into that that niche. And uh, it, within the first like six months of doing that, I was like, you know, there's got to be more to this because I'm performing now. But I get to do it in a way that makes me feel like I'm not going to fall asleep afterwards. Uh, and I can do it from home, and this is amazing. And so I started looking into everything I could look into. I got one of your programs. I got a bunch of coaches. I got a bunch of things. And all of a sudden, I was like, this whole world is like the greatest thing ever, and I need to do this. Uh, and it's really funny because right now my biggest focus is on promos. Mm-hmm. Uh, and for anybody who doesn't know what promos are, they're basically commercials for entertainment. So it's commercials for TV shows and sometimes. And movies. you're fantastic, by the way. Oh, thank um, you. People need to. By the way, what's your website? I want everybody to go and check it out. Check out your work. Cool. Yeah, it's the voice of Tim Page dot com. And it's P.A.I.G.E. Yeah, some really good stuff there. Anyhow, didn't mean to interrupt, but how no, that's that OK. Plug? That's OK. Well, the, it's funny because when I was doing the podcast intros and outros, the the thing that stood out to me the most was promos. I always liked, you know, video games, although I'm not a big video game player. You know, I like listening to the commercials, but uh, there's a guy, Rick D. Wasserman. He's the voice of AMC. Mm-hmm. Great guy. Uh, and, and, you know, he's the guy that's like, you know, coming up next on The Walking Dead. He's that guy. And I was like, oh, I want to do that. Uh, and so I reached out to him and he kind of welcomed me into this world of promos and introduced me and taught me what it's like and was kind of like, uh, it's a really tough world and it's one of the most competitive areas and there are a very few number of people doing it and, and et cetera, et cetera. Mm. But he encouraged me. Um, so that was really where I, uh, I fell in love with voiceover in general, but with promos uh, and since then, now I'm, I'm one of about four voices for the UFC. I do a ton of UFC promos. Mm. Um, New York One, which is a, a, a big Time Warner Cable news station in New York City. I do a bunch of stuff for them. Um, I do a lot of Tommy Toys commercials. Mm-hmm. 